Hey, what's up guys, Nick here, and today I'll be doing something very, very different from the norm. Today I'll be playing some ranked Halo 5, which is something I never usually touch normally. I'm a super casual, super fiesta boy, but today I'll be jumping into the HCS playlist, which I'm ranked Diamond 5 in. I couldn't quite get that on Onyx, unfortunately. But I'll be jumping into this playlist as some new settings have been introduced in the Halo 5 for the competitive HCS kind of side of things, uh, which I think are really, really cool. So I thought I'd make a video playing this playlist, kind of showing them off, getting my opinions out there on these new settings, and hopefully you guys will let me know in the comments what you think of them as well. But before we jump into the game, I want you guys to know something really, really cool this Saturday I will be streaming on the G Fuel Twitch channel that's right I'm now a G Fuel streamer which is really cool you know you can probably notice the hat here it's a G Fuel hat if you can't see the sign right there but I don't want you guys to think I'm just a big sellout now now that I'm affiliated with G Fuel it's just a really really cool opportunity for me so don't worry I won't be selling out I won't be doing anything like that uh hello G Fuel I was wondering when the flavor uber orange will be a Oh, uh, sorry, I'm recording a video right now, sorry. But for real, it is very, very cool. So hopefully you guys are excited for me. If you want to check out my stream on Saturday, it's going to be going down at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I couldn't remember if it was West or Eastern time, but it's 10 a.m. Eastern time, which is 3 p.m. UK time. So if you're not doing anything on Saturday, you want to come show your boys some love and support. I'll be there, come hang out, we'll be playing some Halo on Fortnite, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But I probably will suck at, uh, at some HCS here, as I have not warmed up whatsoever, and this is my first game of the day, but we'll see how I do. Hopefully some normal 4v4 Halo 5 will be something new and different and enjoyable that you guys will hopefully like on the channel, because as I said, I never do this. I'm definitely more of a, a Warzone Super Fiesta, you know, wreck specialist, I'd like to call myself on the weekends, you know, <laughs> uh, I hate myself. But for real, some 4v4 Magnum Halo 5 is very, very fun, so I'm excited for this. Okay, so obviously I don't have any communication with my teammates here, so hopefully we can use the power of our minds to communicate with each other and we can uh, work together somehow. I don't know if that's how it works, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I want to apologize for not uploading the past few days. Lately, I've just been a little bit low on uh, creative ideas for Halo content, and at the end of the day, I don't want to just upload, you know, bad videos for the sake of uploading, you know. I do okay enough with my stream for me to kind of get away with not uploading every single day on my YouTube channel now. And the last thing I want is to just upload subpar content. Well, unless you already think my content is subpar, well, that's just awkward then. But I don't want to upload terrible, terrible content just for the sake of uploading. So hopefully I get out of this kind of little rut, I guess, very, very soon, as not being able to think of video ideas does suck. It really is pretty awful. When all you want to do is upload videos, you know, make entertaining content for you guys and not knowing what to make. So don't worry, it's just... It's just a big fact that Halo 5 is a little bit stale right now. It's not like, you know, I'm coming sick and bored of YouTube. That's far from the case. Because unfortunately, it's not just a simple matter of jumping on to another Halo game where you're know, going back to Reach or something. I could do that all I want, but eventually that would also become pretty stale. So it's just about finding what type of content I really have fun making. I love doing this live commentary kind of stuff, but again, I don't want to just talk, you know, ramble the entire time. Okay, okay, my shot is a little bit rough right now, but that's right. We'll get past it together. All you guys just got to... Gotta work with me here. There you go. Just melee him right in the forehead. But something really cool that I think you guys will find hopefully pretty exciting and, you know, will somewhat interest you, I guess, is that there are some more Halo 5 tournaments that have been announced now. And I thought the one that I went to in March in London was the last Halo 5 tournament that I would ever get to go to, even as a spectator. But two new ones have now been announced. One in New Orleans and one in London in September. And I think I will be trying to attend the one in London. But this is an open bracket competition. So what that means is if you make a team, anyone can join. You know, anyone one can enter you just gotta basically buy a pass to enter your team in dude, dude i literally hit you in the back i swear i did i literally smacked you but i'm also going to pax this year which i'm going to at the very beginning of september so i'll go to pax come home for like three days and then i'll go straight to london basically to then compete because i think i'm going to try and get a little squad together with some of my friends that we're going to compete in this open bracket event in London. We're going to do terrible, all right? We're not going to win. We're not going to win any money or anything like that. But I want to compete. I want to play just for a bit of fun. So you might see some more ranked, competitive, sweaty games of Halo on the channel over the next few months as we try and prepare a little bit for this, uh, for this you know, tournament. But again, it's just for fun. We're not going with any serious intent. We could literally come rock bottom and I wouldn't even care. It wouldn't mean anything to me whatsoever. I just want to go. I just want to compete in one event in Halo 5 after all the time I've played this game, after all the videos I've made. Competing is something that I've never actually done on it, so I think that's like the last thing I need to do. The last thing that I need to do in Halo 5 before the game is kind of officially dead, because I'm guessing after these competitions, after these tournaments, then nothing more will be done for the game. Obviously, the Halo 5 tournaments do have to come to an end at some stage, so, you know, I feel like 2018 is the kind of last 
last run that Halo 5 has. And it's pretty crazy, the open bracket prize pool for the London event is $135,000, which I'm pretty sure is the largest sum of money for any European tournament ever, which is bananas. That is absolutely insane. So all I'm saying is, if I become really, really good over the summertime and I, you know, turn up at the, uh, at the event, I could literally make a lot of money, okay? I could finally quit YouTube, I could stop playing Halo, I could buy an island somewhere if I win this tournament. So I'm gonna become very, very sweaty, gonna try my ass off and see where that gets me. Fortunately, my team is getting pretty pooped on right now. It's, uh, it's an unfortunate turn of events. At the beginning, we were actually doing very, very well, but it's kind of went completely downhill for us, which uh, feels real bad, man. But the actual settings that have changed in this playlist, which I haven't even mentioned yet because I'm a terrible, terrible person, the changes are that there's no longer Ground Pound or Spartan Charge in the HCS playlist, and that's what's gonna be played at the competitive events for Halo 5 going forward. So that is really, really cool. I'm a big fan of these changes. I don't really like Spartan Charge. Uh, Ground Pound is okay. Ground Pound is a little bit of fun from time to time. You know, it's pretty fun just to smash down on someone's head, but besides that, you know, it can be pretty frustrating getting Spartan Charge as you're running around the corner because it doesn't feel fair whatsoever. The only sad thing about it is it does take away from the movement a little bit in this game. Obviously, you can't do those massive jumps where you, you know, to try and ground pound your way across that little bit you couldn't reach. So that's the only unfortunate part of a ground pound being taken out of it. But I do wonder if 343 taking these settings out of the competitive, you know, NIST for Halo 5, does that mean that going forward they maybe don't want Spartan abilities and stuff like that? Or is it just literally to change it up to make the, uh, the competitive side of Halo 5 feel a little bit more fresh for the final run of events that's gonna happen? Dude, I don't know how people play competitive and also make commentaries on a regular basis. This is literally taking so much of my concentration, it is insane. There you go, I finally got my ninja. God, that's literally all I wanted. Literally wanted one. Oh no, dude. No, okay, that's fine. Didn't see you coming whatsoever. Yep, you deserve that win. Good job. <laughs> good job, guys. All right, unfortunately, we lost that game. We actually made a bit of a good comeback there. I only got eight kills, but I got eight captures. So you know what? I played the OBJ, did my did my job here. He got 20 kills, so you know what? I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a proud of myself. I, I think I did okay. Okay, so funny enough, just as I was speaking about London, I have matched with an EU pro player, Respectful, who's in my team. So hopefully since he's in my squad, we will win the game, all right? I feel, I feel like very confident with this one. There you go, there you go. Me and Respectful, the duo. <laughs> um, he doesn't know who I am. He has no clue who I am. But also a really interesting thing about this tournament is that it is open bracket for anyone in the world. So it doesn't matter if you're from the UK, from America, from Mexico, from anywhere else in Europe, you can enter this tournament. So that is very, very awesome. So I'm hoping a lot of the American teams come over and make it a very, very interesting event because obviously the American teams are somewhat better than any of the EU teams, unfortunately. That's just how it is. I guess they're just better. They can practice a lot more against better teams, all that stuff. So it does make it a lot harder for EU teams to kind of get anywhere. But I would love to see some of the NA players kind of come over and, you know, play because that'd be really cool to see that in person because I do love competitive Halo 5, just competitive games in general. I don't even want to get started on the 100 million prize pool for Fortnite that Epic has just announced. That is crazy, dude. That is literally the craziest thing I've ever heard. 100 million prize pool for Fortnite? Like, what? Like that... I don't even have words for it. All I'm saying, if you start seeing me building in real life, just spinning in circles, building walls, that was me practicing. I want a cut of this 100 million. I want a slice of it. Even if it's like $1 that I find on the street outside of one of the tournaments, I will accept that. But I want you guys to drop a comment down below. If I'm gonna be in a competitive team, what should the name of the team be? Because obviously, it can't be named over me or after me. That wouldn't make any sense. But I want you guys to think of a cool team name for the squad that I'll be running with in September. I don't know exactly who will be in the team yet. I have an idea of a few of the players few of the people that you guys will know very, very well, or hopefully should do anyway. But if you have a cool team name that you think we should go with, let me know in the comments. I would love to see them get some ideas of what we should go by. Obviously nothing rude or offensive because that would just not be allowed, but anything funny, let me know. I'm not very good with team names. It's definitely my biggest weakness when it comes to competitive stuff. But we can win this. We're doing a good job so far. All I want is one win, okay? If I can get Onyx in this playlist, eventually I'll be happy enough. All right. I think a lot of people think I'm just like a silver player or something. I, I could be an Onyx. I can get there. I just, you know, need to be running in a squad that's better than me so they can carry me there. But lately, I've been playing a lot more ranked and stuff on my stream, you know, getting placements and stuff like that, which I usually don't do. Usually, I don't bother getting placed. I don't really care for it that much. But for whatever reason, this season, I've kind of got the itch for it and I want to get, you know, ranked. I want to prove to people that I can be decent at this game after getting stuck, that's awesome. Listen, I might not be the best slayer of all time, but I can get I can get the captures, okay? I can get into the bases, strongholds. I keep calling them bases. I'm sorry, okay? But I can get in the strongholds. I can, I can, you know, reclaim them pretty damn well. Guess that's my strong suit for now. 
You can't kill them, but it's still their stronghold. I think my problem is sometimes I feel like I'm a better slayer than what I am. You know, I'm pretty decent. I'm okay, but for the most part, I'm not that great, okay? I'll be, have to be 100% honest with myself. I need to improve my magnum shot. has got a little bit rusty. I've been using way too many beans and northern fangs and all that stuff in warzone so i do get a little bit rusty with my magnum shot over time okay we're doing a good job we're actually doing very very well i think i'm actually doing a great job of defending and capturing these bases if there's anything if there's one thing i'm doing a good job at right now it is it is capturing and also running into three of the enemy team <laughs> oh god okay i got eight kills again but I got with nine captures all right listen the the kills will come as long as i can get all the captures and all that stuff i'm happy enough all right you guys are here to watch me get wins, not kills. So I went eight and nine, Respectful went 21 and six, but I got nine captures. Who's the real MVP? Still Respectful, it's still him. He still wins in every aspect of the word. All right, well that was my first bout in a long time of trying to make a ranked Halo 5 video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below, drop a comment about anything that I mentioned. And if you're brand new, make sure you hit subscribe. This was really, really difficult, not gonna lie, but maybe next time you can jump in with some friends and we can uh, make a little squad video of us trying to play some ranked and see what we can get up to. But thanks for watching guys, love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.